Amy, thanks for the update. Well, new at 530, a health care training program that leaders say is one of a kind in Georgia. St. Joseph's Candler announced a multi year initiative to bring Bryan County students into the health care field. WTOC's Camille Syed breaks down this new program. Students already learn a lot about science here in the classrooms at Richmond Hill High School, but an emerging program with St. Joseph's Candler will give them hands on experience working side by side with healthcare workers. Wildcat senior Io Alwe is one of 40 students in a pilot program that lets them shadow St. Joseph's Candler nurses. He's able to be face to face with patients. And you get to see what type of treatments they go under, what it's like on a daily basis. Now St. Joseph's Candler is announcing an expansion to the program. It will create certification programs for students, lectures from healthcare experts, and eventually have 120 students a semester shadowing healthcare workers at the two hospitals. That's according to CEO Paul Hinchy. Each one of those practitioners has their own story. And when they tell you a story, you get to know the person. And they're going to tell their story. And they're going to tell them about the ups and downs of it. And I got through it. The partnership between SJC and Bryan County Schools will also create a simulation lab for students when the new Richmond Hill High School is ready in 2025. It's exciting. You know, anytime that you can be part of something new that has a positive impact on kids and the community, it's a great thing. As Georgia faces a shortage of health care workers, Hinchy believes starting students in the field early will help. In fact, he hopes it will bring more employees to their health care facilities in the works, like their building near Hartwood and facilities in Pembroke. We'll build the bricks and mortar, but what we are concerned about, so to speak, is getting the talented Georgia healthcare workers to work in these buildings. Bringing new interest to an industry in need. Camille Syed, WTOC News.